Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Hardcore Championship, a match where the all the, where all the matches are under hardcore and extreme rules. We have the champion, Mankind, facing off against Eric Young. Now, if you're new here, the Hardcore Championship... Oh, excuse me. You're damn right it is, Greg Hamilton. He means the EBCW Hardcore Championship. Anyway, as I was saying, the Hardcore Championship more or less acts as the quote-unquote jobber title. However, I don't think any jobber is willing to fight in a hardcore match against none other than Mankind himself. So, truth be told, I will be, uh, truth be told, they probably have more balls than anyone in, in on this roster. And Eric Young is the next victim, so to speak, to step up to the plate. Why does he have a hardcore championship opportunity? I don't fucking know. I decided to give it to him. And now here we are. A backlash. And, and to be fair, it's also kind of my fault too because the hardcore championship, much like the United States championship, hasn't really been showcased as much as I would like because of the fact that more or less uh, every time Mankind's in a match it's in a tag team with The Rock because for whatever reason the Rock and Sock connection is a tag team in this game and I didn't feel like breaking them up so every time uh, Mankind's in a match it's because of that so he's never really in a singles match where I can showcase the fact that he is the hardcore championship or the hardcore champion Now, I mentioned before in our previous match with the with the revival that it's quite unfortunate that you know they really didn't get the hype that they deserved coming from NXT. I would argue Sanity is the exact same way, because very early, very very, excuse me, very early on, it seems like WWE just gave up on them, and they were a pretty solid staple. They were a solid faction in NXT. They had. Who did they have? They had, uh, of course, Eric Young, Nikki Cross, Alexander Wolf, and last but not least, uh, Big Damo, aka Killian Dane. And I liked that grouping. I thought they were fucking phenomenal. And I think, uh, and of course, that was quickly broken up. And Eric Young is more or less a jobber now. If you see him on TV, holy shit, it's like, oh my god, he's on television, this guy? I feel really bad for him because I love it. I, I love Eric Young, man. I love his TNA days, like when he was the kooky, wacky guy from you know when he won the World Heavyweight Championship. Which, despite what people may say, I, I fucking love that. And then, uh, last but not least, this crazy heel shtick that he was doing with Bram, aka Thomas Latimer from NWA. So that was pretty cool. Of course, here's Mankind, again, the hardcore champion, the newest title to e that has been introduced to EBCW to give more people opportunities at becoming champion. The question is, oh, excuse me. This is going to be a hell of a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, as I said prior, all matches are con all hardcore matches are contended under extreme rules. Of course, it wouldn't be a hardcore championship match if it wasn't in those sort of uh, scenarios. Look at that title. Every jobber in EBCW wants that title. Let me tell you. Raw and SmackDown, uh, excuse me, Raw and Nitro alike. And the first move is a big punch and a massive belly-to-belly -belly suplex by none other than Eric Young. Good start to the match so far. 
And he's got the champion reeling already. Another big right hand. Now he's got the full mount and raining punches. The ref can't do anything to stop this because, well, it's extreme rules. And already, Eric Young's going to get a, a weapon. And he chooses a ladder. I question this. But because it's really not it's not really a ladder match and ladders do require a lot of uh, quote unquote uh, effort to lift up and throw it to the opponent and now uh, mankind has the ladder and I can only imagine that that does not mean good things for Eric Young Eric Young's got it back and now these two are just going back and forth giving each other the ladder because fuck it that's why I feel like this is what this match is going to be and now the ladder is finally in use as mankind gets a full Oh, gets to taste that steel. And it does not taste like Nashville barbecue. And now I can go for some na uh, now I can go for some Tennessee fucking ribs right about now. Big power slam there by Mankind. Mick Foley. What has he got planned going on here? If you guys remember in pre in the last hardcore match that took place at Money in the Bank. Mankind did a smart move and did a stump puller pile driver, the cactus special. Some of you may know it as if you watch TNA. And he did the move on top of a kendo stick, which added extra impact. Kick out there by Eric Young. They even get to the one count. Could possibly could mankind possibly pull a stump puller pile driver onto that ladder and it's one, two, three, lights out for none other than Eric Young. Big leg drop there by Mankai. Kick to the face by Mankind. If I was Mankind, I'd probably get as many weapons as I possibly could. And now he's going for a sleeper hold. Oh, dear Lord. Is, is Eric Young going to pass out in this match? We'll have to find out. Nope. Pried him off. And a headbutt in the face for good measures. Kick to the face, Eric Young. Now going back to the ladder and smacking Mankind with it. I don't know why he's setting it up the way he's doing it. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. Is he going to jump off the ladder? Is he going to do something crazy? We all know Eric Young's known to have some crazy moments. Drop kick to Mankind there. Overhead belly to belly suplex. It should be done with ease given the size of mankind and the size of Eric Young. Eric Young is obviously the smaller, uh, less powerful of the two men. Reversal there. Nice reverse DDT there by Eric Young. Jawbreaker by Eric Young, breaking out. Now to the Fez Press, full mount once again. Just raining down punches on the already extremely concussed head of Mick, of uh, Mankind, Mick Foley. Suplex, back into the ring. Of course, even though this is extreme rules, this is not false count anywhere. All pinfalls and or submissions have to take place in the ring. And a... Fantastic soup uh, moonsault by Eric Young to no avail because mankind got the knees up. Thrown into the corner there. Eric Young's just going to rain punches in the corner now. And I can't say I blame him much. The man is very violent. He's very psychotic. The fun loving Eric Young in the early of the day of the early of the days of TNA are far over. And now there goes the ladder. I think Eric Young should probably super kick. Eric Young should probably get another weapon as soon as possible. I think that ladder is probably oh, he's leaning the ladder. He might be going for a Irish whip outside the ring now. Like again, like I said before, this is not false count anywhere. All uh, pin, pinfalls and submissions must take place in the ring. However, these two guys can last as long as they want on the outside because. Well, it's extreme rules. They can do whatever the fuck they want. And of course, now Mankind introduced to the steel steps. If you love the taste of rust and cold steel, well, that's the place for you. 
crucifix bomb on the outside to Eric Young, it's only going to hurt the upper back and you know neck and head area of mankind further. Again, mankind has had a lot, and I mean a lot, of concussions and continuing to throw him into the steps to, for added damage Eric Young is doing. I sounded like Yoda there for a second without the uh, the accent. Saying sentences backwards. Uh, thrown to... Uh, just trying to get some space mankind, but he continues to walk forward to Eric Young. Maybe he's trying to do some damage in his own right. I don't really know what he's trying to accomplish here by throwing him around the ring. And now we're getting another weapon. What has mankind got in store? And the crowd here in Hershey, Pennsylvania is psyched because now they got tables and we all know what happens when there's tables stump puller pile driver onto the floor dear god almighty these two men are definitely looking to destroy each other mankind's doing trying to do more than just retain his title at this point they he wants to end eric young and again throwing him to the other side of the ring. I don't know what purpose this is trying to to do. I think he's trying to get space or what? Definitely got a good amount of space there going back into the ring get, catching a breather. Big power move there. Just striking him to the back. All that weight hitting the back of Eric Young and now those chops. Not so Ric Flair-esque because there's little to no technique behind them. It's just to add extra damage if Eric, if Mankind was smart, he would grab... Oh, Jesus. What is he doing? Don't tell me he's doing what I think he's doing. Oh, I thought he was going... Dear Lord, I thought he was going to put him through that barricade. I'm not quite sure if that's still in the game anymore. I do miss those, by the way. Gut wrench suplex there. Now Eric Young finally getting some payback on, on uh, Mankind. He was getting his ass beat there for a couple of minutes. And Eric Young decides to go back into the ring and think about what's going on. And now he's going back outside to the ring. Maybe he could use the announce table. And now he chooses to grab another weapon. Kendo stick. And now taking it to the back and just unleashing his fury on Mankind's back and stomach area. I can't say I blame him much. And Mankind's continuing to just throw him around the ring for the sake of throwing him around the ring. I don't know what purpose this is trying to do. Atomic drop there on the outside. You have to wonder when these two men are going to decide they want to take it to the inside of the ring and actually attempt to pin one another as Mankind gets thrown into the post. The LED ring post. Again, thrown into the ring post. Third time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hardcore Championship may be a job or title to some. But God damn it, these two men are putting their lives on the line to really not only entertain the crowd in Hersey, Pennsylvania, but they want to destroy each other in the process. And only one man can call himself the hardcore champion. And you have to imagine, with how hurt these men are, the next big move, the next finisher or signature, could possibly end the match. The question is, when does each man want to go back in the ring to end this match? That question is yet to be seen. And finally, Mankind throws Eric Young after several minutes of just punishment. And now he wants to deliver more punishment because he's gotten the steel ring chair. Normally, the timekeeper and uh, Greg Hamilton are sitting on those chairs, but I think for good reason, they left the ringside area when they knew this match was next. Blocked. Headshot was blocked by Eric Young there. Big neck breaker. Some of it actually hit onto the steel chair there as ma as Mankind was uh, falling down. Now, 12 to 6 elbows. Eric 
Eric Young, what's he got next? Oh, maybe he's trying to Irish whip the champion into those stairs and Death Valley Driver. Let's see if he gets the pinfall. One, two, kick out there by Mankind. And that was oh so close. I was convinced for a second that the match was over, given the fact that these two men have been beating the living shit out of each other. Oh my god, into the ladder there. Oh my god! He broke the ladder. Jesus. The weight of Mankind has snapped the ladder in half. And now Mankind is somehow feeling no pain, is incensed, and just clotheslined Eric Young. My god. The savagery that these two men are putting themselves through. And a missed drop kick there by Eric Young. And that's probably going to cost him in the future. Power slam there by Eric Young. He's got to put that finisher on if he wants to win that match. Same thing with Mick Foley, Mankind. And just petty stomps now. They probably won't do much damage, but maybe they might. Who knows? What is Mankind, uh, Eric Young doing? Neckbreaker, wheelbarrow, neckbreaker, and now it's time to make the pinfall. One, two, three. The first title change of the night goes to Eric Young and he is the new EBCW hardcore champion an absolute act of savagery that these two men displayed throughout this match right there is the first time I thought the match was over I believe that's the pinfall. No, that's the kick out after the Death Valley Driver. I was confused. My apologies. Mankind, I believe this was right after he was put through the ladder. Gave that clothesline to Eric Young. And a kick out. And now Eric Young can call himself EBCW Hardcore Champion. Imagine if he was willing to go through the lengths he did to win the title. What lengths is he willing to go through to keep it? We'll only have to find out in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Now, with that being said, we move on to the next match of the evening. I believe it is the Intercontinental title. We'll have to see, but I believe Andrade is going to get his shot against Shelton Benjamin next. Could there be a second title change on the rise? We'll have to find out. I'll see you all very soon.